Hi, my name is Melissa K. Jones. I am the leadership and operations coach at the CE office, where we help leaders better serve their team and their clients. Today, I am showing you the personal design project template using Notion. You might have seen a previous version of this on my YouTube channel at the CE office. I originally started using Notion when I moved between cities several years ago, and I used Notion to help plan the move and then to decorate my new home. So I'm sharing this new update with you. The new update comes as Notion itself has added new features and as I've learned more about the different functionality of Notion. So I hope you enjoy this. The first thing that you can do here on this dashboard for planning your design project is list your street address. This holds all the information together. And just to back up real quickly, this template was designed to support the renovation of your home office or making your home beautiful. So you can use this template as your dashboard for inspiration, staying in budget and managing tasks. Moving in, you can have a list of all of your contractors here. So quick, easy access, it's organized. Your mood board here operates similar to a Pinterest board, but then you don't have to constantly go over to Pinterest. You have all the information together. And this is really helpful if you're planning someone else. So for example, if you have someone that you've hired professionally, that you can share this with them or certain pieces of the information here or a significant other. So you're both on the same page. So with the mood board here, you can organize it by room. And we can just look at this. This is just a real quick image that I uploaded and then you can tag it. So if it is a finish, if it's a color, whatever the case may be. And on this overview, it's not going to go into all the details. I wanna leave some of that a surprise for you when you duplicate the template for yourself, but I'm gonna give you a lot of the overview. And then if you go into the project management here, it lists all of the different homes. You can edit these and rename them to make it fit your own home and your project. It also will give you a budget overview. So this is what your budget is for the room and how much of the budget you have used to date with the things that you've purchased or the work that has been completed. This shows you how many tasks have been completed of the decoration, renovation. And then this can show you the after pictures. So this just real quick sneak peek, this was my before picture for a room and then an after picture. And you can see as you're planning out each room, you want to know the colors, style, the textures, how you want the room to make you feel. It also will show you a link to the mood board. So you'll have all of those items there as well as all of the items that you purchased under your budget, how much you've spent, the percent of the budget and the percent of the task. This these sections will then show out all of the items that have been purchased in the task. I'll show you on the bathroom one because I put a sample there. So here you can see $500 was the budget for the bathroom, the marble mood board. So far, $31 has been spent of that, which is 6% approximately. So you can see the purchases here and then the tasks that need to be completed. So again, it gives you great overview of each room and where it is in the process. Then if you go to the timeline here, if you're trying to make sure that you're staying on task. And one of the things that I've enjoyed about decorating my home is you don't have to get it done within a specific time frame. that as you find things that are reflective of your lifestyle preferences and things that you enjoy, you can add them over time. But if you want to do more, then you have the different phases here. So planning, purchasing, if you're doing having a contractor help execute parts of the project if you're doing it yourself and then styling or decorating. And so this will list out each of the tasks. You will assign the room that it belongs to, what phase it's in. And then if there is an item that's associated with that task, you would link it in there. Who's responsible for it? the goal completion. And then when you change the statuses here, 
it will automatically update the start and the same with the completed. And then you'll know which contractor has what tasks under them for that. And then the shopping list is your own database where again, the shopping list is sorted by shop. So you can again, edit these and make them your own. You can have obviously add the uh, Home Depot, whatever is local to your area or online that you're frequently purchasing from. And then that makes it a lot easier to just go in and check off the things and know which department to pull them from and how much you're going to spend. So even if that's like Crate and Barrel, West Elm, Restoration Hardware, whatever your preferences are. And then this just is a visual preview by room again of what you've purchased. So you can get an aesthetic view and then the list of all of the items. So what status it is, what room it is, the different tags and so on. So it's pretty detailed, so it keeps you organized. So I look forward to your feedback and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message and I hope you enjoy.